Well, Gene, it is the first time this issue has been heard in a New Hampshire courtroom that weighs privacy concerns against the public's right to know. At issue are four videos, three police body cameras, and a cruiser cam that were part of a deadly officer involved shooting last month in Bath. Authorities say two Haverhill police officers fired at Hagen S.D. Lennon, a father of two young children, as he lunged at them with a knife. It will now be up to a Superior Court judge to decide how much, if any, of those videotapes will be released. Part of the video is unnecessarily graphic and gory and could be very upsetting to these young children. Those privacy rights do trump the public's right to know. Peter McGrath represents the estate of S.D. Lennon and believes that only part of the video should be released at this time. The Attorney General's office has released still photos of the encounter, pictures that show S.D. Lennon with a knife in his hand before he was shot, but after officials say he suffered what appeared to be a self-inflicted wound. The AG's office believes the family's wishes need to be weighed in terms of releasing the video. We are now uh, in a position where we need to evaluate that privacy interest versus the public's interest in learning how public officials are performing their duties. But attorney Diane Puckhaber, who represents Estee Lennon's wife and their two children, ages seven and eight, believes none of the video should be released. Their father's gone. They're small children. And regardless of what's in the video, it is difficult for them. And the, the harm to them could be irreparable. And we're asking for consideration and sensitivity and don't believe that there's a need to have this in the public domain. Judge Peter Favre reviewed the videos today in chambers and will schedule another hearing to discuss what to do next. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.